Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In this episode, we will be looking at, thank you, Richard, the latest single board computer that never fails to, oh, hang on. We actually got one? Here it is. Holy hell and stick, I thought these things were as rare as a unicorn. Blimey. Well, in this episode, we've got the Raspberry Pi 5. We all know the Raspberry Pi range of single board computers, the compute modules, and their famous RP2040 for being extremely capable devices. And every time they bring something new out, we can't be more excited. Well, when they announced the introduction of the Raspberry Pi 5, I was certainly eager to get my hands on one. The Pi 5, like its predecessors, is a single board computer that integrates everything you could possibly need to get computer applications up and running. Being suitable for use as a device controller, desktop machine, and even as a server, the Pi 5 has numerous applications and possibilities that make it an extremely capable machine. When you see the range of features and specs that the Pi 5 has, you can understand why it's truly awesome. But primarily for me, I was pretty sure that the Pi Foundation said they weren't going to be making any more Pi computers. So when they brought one out, I was absolutely flabbergasted. Thanks to the numerous hardware and performance improvements compared to the earlier Pis, the Pi 5 will let you do far more things while keeping your power consumption down. This also means that new project opportunities are opened, including AI, advanced robotics, and cluster server systems. Okay, time to get down and dirty with the Pi 5's guts. At the heart of this single board computer is a Broadcom SOC integrating an ARM Cortex A76 quad-core processor clocked at 2.4 gigahertz, which also includes cryptographic accelerators. The use of a Video Core 7 GPU provides substantially improved graphics processing compared to the Pi 4, and can be used to drive two 4K displays at 60 frames per second along with HDR support. RAM options for the Pi 5 include 4GB and 8GB, and the inclusion of a dual-band Wi-Fi controller means that you can switch between the 2.4 and 5GHz channels with ease. The inclusion of a gigabit ethernet port along with two USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports provides plenty of connectivity and the two four lane MIPI camera lanes allow for use with multiple dedicated cameras. Uh, I uh, smell AI projects. Another excellent feature of the Pi 5 is the inclusion of a PCIe bus that is accessible by a teeny tiny connector meaning that you can connect extremely fast hardware to the Pi 5, such as M.2 SSDs. But above all else, what really stands out with this machine is the inclusion of the RP1 IO controller, which the Pi Foundation developed themselves to help minimize the number of parts on the board. This IO controller is what makes the USB 3 and the camera lane ports possible. Furthermore, the Pi 5 also includes an external real-time clock port, a power button, so finally, and a UART debug port. The only thing missing is an integrated RP2040, which would be amazing if they included it. So, you ran to your favorite portable device, loaded up the Electromaker store, bought a Pi 5, waited patiently by the door, and received your machine. Now what? Well, if you want to know what you can do with the Pi 5, it's far easier to list what you can't do with it. So I'm thinking taxes. No, no, wait, you, you actually could do that. Um, how about, no, no, that wouldn't work. It would do that too. What about, yeah, no, no, it can't do that either. Or it could. Anyway, to start, the Pi 5 is an ideal candidate for use as a small desktop machine used for programming, learning, education, and even just general computer use. Thanks to the Raspberry OS and the unbelievable amount of open source software packages, you can easily do your taxes with LibreOffice, design circuits with KiCad, program the RP2040 with Thonny, and deploy websites using Apache and PHP. 
But when looking at the Pi 5 as a platform device as opposed to a generic computer, then things start to get a lot more exciting. The dual camera lanes along with the PCIe connector and GPIO make the Pi 5 an excellent candidate for use as an AI robotic controller. Such a robot could be used for organizing bolts and washers, helping out with cleaning rooms, preparing cooking ingredients, and even as a high five machine that gives you a high five every time you feel just a little bit down. Another excellent use of the Pi 5 would be as a microserver, providing a home network with a specific set of services and features, such as a Plex server, web host, or backup server. By combining multiple Pi 5s together, you can distribute your services to help ease the load on one machine. And the gigabit port combined with a PCIe port means that you can get extremely fast download speeds and transfer speeds. Of course, the Pi 5 can also be used for so much more. So do check out the countless projects and videos that we have done on the Pi 5 and all the other Pi products. The Pi 5 is an excellent machine that is the envy of makers, bringing fantastic performances, GPIO, and other peripherals to any project. Its small size makes it extremely convenient for compact projects, and the wide range of software and libraries for the Pi 5 means that you'll never struggle to develop solutions. If you like what we do here at Electromaker, then consider hitting the like button, smashing the subscribe button, and checking out our official Electromaker store where you can get all the bits and bobs you could possibly need for any future project. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off.